The prophet Isaiah predicted that one day, God would send someone who would be rejected by Israel's leadership, condemned by his fellow citizens, and abandoned by his closest followers. That person was Jesus, and Isaiah's prophecy happened on that first Good Friday. Like a good king, Jesus took responsibility for the failures of Adam and Eve and all their descendants, including us today. And even though as our king, he should have been the one judging and punishing us, Jesus was pierced, crushed, punished, and sacrificed for the sins, failures, and cruelties of his guilty citizens. As he breathed his last on the cross, Jesus said, It is finished! He had done everything that he had come to do, and with nothing left to accomplish, Jesus rested. Because Jesus rested knowing that there was nothing left to do in order to save his people, we can all rest assured, knowing that Jesus has done everything to make us his very own. Today is Holy Saturday, when we remember the day Jesus rested in his tomb. We know relatively little about what happened on this day when he lay buried in his tomb. But this we know. 1. It was a Sabbath day, a day of rest. 2. That the religious leaders were afraid, for Jesus had claimed he would rise from the dead on the third day, and they were worried that his disciples would try steal his body and pretend that he had risen from the dead, making their problems very serious. 3. That they had asked the Roman governor to post guards at Jesus' tomb to prevent any false resurrections. One of Jesus' ancestors, King David, had written, My heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest in hope because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead. You will not let your faithful one see decay. David was confident that God would preserve, protect, and provide for his dynasty, even through and beyond death. He knew that his death would not be the end of his dynasty, or God's promises. Holy Saturday is a day of mourning, but not a day without hope. Jesus' day in the tomb reminds us that we will all know death. We will watch the death of our loved ones. Eventually, we will all fall asleep one last time. But Holy Saturday is good news because Jesus announces that death is never more than a nap. In Jesus, death is a day of rest before the dawn of a new creation and a much-needed break before a new era of renewal and resurrected life. Heavenly Father, all oh, that the truth of Holy Saturday may be awakened in me this Easter, that life in the grave is just but a nap, that we must all take at an appointed time to await a glorious resurrection. May this day remind me to be still and know that you are God, because Jesus Christ, your Son, is the resurrection and the life, and the one who believes in him will live even though they die. This is my prayer of faith, in Jesus' name. Amen.